Hey guys, I have always wanted to edit the file player.entity.json to add new player animations in a resource pack, but unfortunately, any pack that includes this file breaks the character creator and capes. Capes just disappear, and any custom created character turns into Steve. This has been on the bug tracker for a long time, and it got resolved works as intended a few months ago, so there was basically no hope for ever adding new player animations. Until four days ago, when Rain Vey, the creator of Multipixel and the Flappy Blocky resource packs, discovered the solution. Here's what you do. Go to the link in the description and download player.entity.json from there. Do not use a player.entity.json file from the default resources included with the game. It will not work correctly because it's missing some animations and you'll get errors. Then, copy the line from the description of this video that says min engine version 1.8.0. Paste this line into player.entity.json under the Minecraft player identifier like this. This file can now be safely modified to add new player animations. You can put this player.entity.json file in the entity folder of any resource pack and it will work perfectly. You can change variables and add new animations and animation controllers without breaking anything. Since this was discovered, we have already managed to fix multiple player animations for Java and console aspects in the last few days. Lionhead07 fixed the sprint jumping animation, which now looks almost exactly like Java Edition. It is glorious. This animation has been requested for forever, and it was just not possible to add until we discovered how to edit player.entity.json. Chrysor went back to work on the eating animation for console aspects and changed the arm to smoothly transition up to the mouth, pause for a second, and then start bobbing while eating the food. I can't wait to see what else we can do with player.entity.json in the future, because this opens so many possibilities. And just to prove to you that this file doesn't break anything, here's me using a horribly ugly character creator skin with a cape and our new sprint jumping animation for Java and console aspects. As you can see, we were able to add new animations for sprint jumping without breaking skins at all. I hope you enjoyed learning how to add new player animations. I am very excited about this discovery. Thanks so much to Rainvey on Twitter for discovering this. You are amazing. And honestly, I'm sure that with the ability to add new player animations, packs like actions and stuff will become a lot more common now that anyone can add new player animations. Thanks for watching, and have a Merry Christmas.